the correct answer is do not send a worker to America. If you want them to become a bozo in Indology and bring back or stay there, then definitely be my guest, send them. Because all the Indology departments in America, England, most of the places, unfortunately including India, okay, are basically just gone to dots. I hope you understand the terms, okay? Totally waste of time, totally useless professors, totally useless students, useless PhDs, okay? And uh, I think we are recording it because I want it to be recorded, okay? And I'm hoping somebody comes and says, Dilla, she called us useless? I said, yeah, let's discuss. <laughs> and make sure we record it too, okay? That's what it is. When Smriti Irani ji became a HR minister or education minister, actually what I did is, Maybe it's the same thing, right? HR and education, or I don't know. But she became either education or HR. It, it came, comes under it, yeah. And one of the great things she did is uh, the digitization of all the PhD thesis in India. So when that was done a few years ago, right, about 10 years ago, I was just curious. I said, let's see what, what is happening in India. So I just went there to that website. I just typed Mahabharata. And like, oh, I don't know, 100, 500. I said, show me 150 thesis. I just looked at the top 20, the first random one, and what a junk that stuff is. Utter junk. There is no other word for it. So that's the kind of thing, guys, that is going on. Nobody's talking about it. Even, unfortunately, it is percolating into engineering. I don't know if it's happening here, but it, at IITs, I was at IIT Kampur just uh, not that long ago for three days. You will be amazed, like the social sciences are taking over. That nonsense is actually coming uh, into the engineering. In America it is already happening. Okay, for example, integration, like the gender studies, the integration is like a uh, male toxicity. Okay, double integration not allowed, only keep single integration and stuff like that. You know, so just be aware of this, okay, don't be in your cocoon. A lot of nonsense is happening. But if you are interested, this is actually evidence-based history of 75,000 plus years of Indian history. Okay, there's a lot to be explored. Keep in mind, as you go back in the past, the quality of our evidence, the amount of evidence does go down. That's just a natural law. Okay? All right. Let's look at some other aspects. Dharma, Artha, Kama, remember? That's the definition of a history. Now, anytime, if you are not familiar with the Indian text, and somebody asks you to read Mahabharata, Ramayana, immediately some of us, some of us at least, the reaction is, oh my God. You know, this is this is like basically, you know, what do I have to do? Close my eyes, hold my hands, chant something, and what happens? You know? Actually, it's a very practical and pragmatic. This is just like we talked about the Itihasa. There is another set of narratives called Darshana Shastra. How many of you have heard that word, Darshana Shastra? Impressive, thank you. Vaisheshika, Sankhya, Nyaya, right? Puru Vimamsa, Uttar Vimamsa, Yoga, Patanjali. You know what it is? How many of you had a chance to open that? It's a very refined science. My journey happened the backwards. I learned the modern science first, and I was this is 1993. I was uh, taking summer courses at California Berkeley, and I was studying the some of the greats of Western science, like Sir Karl Popper and so on and so forth. And I said, this is fascinating. And some guy came to me and said, Dilesh, if you find this fascinating, you should learn Nyaya Darshan. And I said, what is that? So don't feel bad if you don't know it. But you know, and so first time I read it, I said, I don't even understand what this is. But if you keep on doing it, it starts talking to you. It's just fabulous in terms of what the modern science is. Nyayadashana has done it thousands and thousands of years ago. This is from Vaisheshika. Vaisheshika Sutra, think of this as ancient Indian physical sciences or ancient Indian physics. Look at what is the definition of a dharma. Again, whether you know Sanskrit or not, you are able to figure this out. Yato abhyodaya nishreya sasiddhi sa dharma. The definition of dharma is, the Hindi translation is there. I want to make sure everyone is. I did my Ella Unnavu, so the, the Telugu, Telugu, the sweet community is covered. Okay, now the Hindi. Jis madhyam se namara sarvangi vikas ho, aur sabhi prakar ke dukho kashkal se mukti mile, usi ko dharma ke dhar. We use science and technology to make our lives better. Yeah? Okay. So let's look at some examples. This is that, I call it a DCM machine, doubt clearing machine. Okay, 
you, you have a problem, it's very easy. You have a problem from one side, put that into that machine, okay? Then close your eyes, chant some mantra of, of your choice, and if you are lucky, the scientific and logical solution comes on the other side. Okay, I call this uh, Rahul Gandhi machine. <laughs> Take sides say alo dalo, dusre sides say sona nikalo. Okay, something like that. Just look at it. This is the best definition of modern science. What science is, what scientific logic is, method is. But it is given in the Nyaya Darshana, it is given in the Yoga Darshana, it is given in the Sankhya Darshana, it is given in the Vaisheshika Darshana. That's the beauty. Uh, for example, Patanjali Yoga Sutra will say Pratyaksha Anumana Agama Pramana Ni. Done. And if you want to know what is not science, the next sutra, Vipareyo Vitya Jnana Atta Drupa Pratishtam. If you don't follow Pratyaksha Anumana Agama, if you don't follow, don't even check one of these boxes, you miss them, what you are going to produce is a false knowledge. Vitya, Vipareyo Vitya Jnana Atta Drupa Pratishtam. And then the third sutra says, don't just speculate if you don't have the evidence. Shabda Jnana Anupati Vastu Shubhyo Vitalpa. You are speculating something, you are just stating your opinion, but there is no evidence to back it up. You are creating confusion, illusion for yourself and for others. That's how the language is. If you go to Nyaya Darshana, not to confuse with the quotes of the way, the Nyaya is in the sense of the logic. Of course, the quotes are supposed to use logic. Okay? What does it say? Look at the words there. Pratyaksha, Anumana, Upamana, Shabda, Pramanani. That is the method of science. What science says is a triangulation of explanation, prediction, testing in the context of a theory, in the context of a background knowledge. Exactly the same thing, we are just using different languages. Okay, let's take some practical examples. So we talked about Dharma, Artha, Kama, Prosperity, Yato, Abhyudaya, Nishreya, Siddhi, Sarama, Abhyudaya, the Prosperity. Have you seen this graph before? No. No? Some of you have, okay. The x axis is the time. Okay, and the y-axis is the percentage of GDP. Identify where India is, that color there. And if you go back 1000, 2000 years, uh, yeah, 2000 years, what is the contribution of Indian GDP to the world? About 40%, the highest actually. Okay, and of course then what happened, you can say, and almost you can point out, you can put a modern history there, you know, what happened in 1000, what happened in 1500, what happened in 1700, what happened in 1857 and you can just go and see what, how the difference is. What happened in the Second World War, 1945-1950 and so on. Okay, if you look at the China, you can see when the China turned around, okay, with their communism and the opening of that thing and what difference happened. Very beautiful. So when a graph like this, this, this is uh, Angus Madison's work, okay. Before that, there was another guy, Belgium guy, Byron, that World Bank asked him to do study like this. Now, Byron went uh, for maybe 1000 years and it showed exactly the same thing. So, whoever commissioned the World Bank did not like it. So, they said maybe Byron did not do it right. So, this time they hired an American guy, Angus Madison. Angus Madison went 1000 years further. He did it for 2000 years and actually showed India's contribution and China's contribution was even. Everyone understand what I'm showing? The GDP contribution. Now the question you have to ask is where does this come from? Because right now we look at America, like the green, look at the green at the bottom here, and China here in our time. Huge. We can understand what was what is happening in America. Okay? We know what is happening in China and why their GDP is higher. So what was happening in India? Remember the two of beauty of Nishra Sasiti Sadhana. Some of the basic things, if you go back in the past, that can make you money, that can bring prosperity, that can allow you time to think for philosophy and sports and music and whatever you want to think, is what? You need the assurance for a food. Okay, every day we don't have to get up in the morning and think, what am I going to eat today? Which is goes back to agriculture. Before I show you the next, next graph, 